Hi, I'm Extra Yogurt, and welcome back to another speed build. If you're new here, then welcome. If you're not new, then thank you for checking out my video again. Um, so basically, the way this video came about is because I did a 24-hour Build a City challenge um, as a 500 subscriber gift. Uh, I ended up getting to this or getting done with this a little late so by the time I finished we were at already over 600 subscribers so thank you guys so much for the subs um, and the support and all the nice comments I really do appreciate it um, if you haven't seen parts one and two of this that's up on my channel as well if you're interested if you want to check that out um, but yeah so Dusty Lakes is basically a small desert town that is growing and like expanding so there's some like older looking buildings and there's some newer looking buildings and I kind of plan to keep kind of keep that vibe going where it's like a mix of both because um, that's to me that's a lot more similar to real life where like there's a mix of like really old buildings and then like the super new modern buildings um, you know like every town is not gonna be completely run down at least if at least if it's like a thriving town so um, one of uh, one of y'all had actually commented and said um, this comment came from someone named Hooverkins Hooverkins am I saying that right hopefully um, but anyways they said that this town reminds me of a small town on the highway in between two bigger cities that has a small population but a big police station and dealership because it's the only place with room left I love it so you pretty much hit that right on the nail what I was trying to capture so <laughs> I do appreciate your comment um yeah so like I imagine Sims living here but maybe like it's kind of like that town that you live in when you're trying to settle down or just go to school and get school squared away but like when you want to go have fun maybe like drive off to like a bigger city um or drive downtown or something or not downtown drive to a totally different city um but yeah i i really appreciate that appreciated that comment so Another thing I wanted to cover was that, um, if you didn't hear me mention it before, basically there's no residential lots in this town yet. I am going to, um, I asked y'all if you would be interested in, in seeing that and um, it was a pretty like positive response. I think you guys would be interested in me continuing this, this uh, neighborhood for now and adding like homes to it. Um, Someone had uh, suggested that I make it a 24 hour challenge and I'm still thinking, I'm still thinking. It, what One way or another, whether it's timed or not, it's going to get done, I promise y'all. So stay tuned for that. And um, yeah, so the, the build tutorial video, I have decided that that is going to be the way that I format the residential lots because I really want to, um, I want to give it a try. Like you guys have been um, suggesting that I do that kind of video for a while now, and I mean, like, I just need to, I just need to go ahead and try it. So <laughs> um, stay tuned for that as well. So I'll be kind of like stepping away from the speed build format just a little bit. I might speed some parts up still, but. Um, just really like sit down and walk you guys through the whole process and also like maybe if you don't play sims 2 yourself or you haven't played in a long time i can cover like just bare basics um of building and then like kind of get into like my tips and tricks or whatever like that so um anyways so as you guys can see, we have built a big blocky boxy warehouse for this thrift store. And um, although it is boring, it is very accurate to real life thrift stores. Uh, I've seen some I've seen some really cool thrift stores and I've also seen ones that look like this, like the big shoe box. And, um, you know, since we're on a time constraint, the shoe box was was uh, the easier choice. So. 
um it's called base i think i think it's called basement and boxes thrift i think that's what i decided on um i'm really not good at naming things so that that explains that but <laughs> um so yeah like if you guys are like into thrift stores or if you've just been to a thrift store like you know this is this is pretty in line with real life like the colors and like the organization of everything um it's it's pretty like thrift stores are they're pretty plain they're pretty like basic buildings themselves but like th things are organized in a way that that makes sense so um so yeah um i thought it would be cool to like just add that little like red lined wallpaper to match the the awning i put out front um and i think it turned out pretty nice like i definitely was going for the very plain just clean look because um you know this the actual objects in the store the colors vary so much and like the objects vary so much like it's kind of like working with a black blank canvas so that definitely helps a lot um but yeah okay so don't be alarmed by me just spamming a bunch of yeah there i am okay so typically with the sales shelves i'll just like Put a bunch of the same item on the shelves and then delete what i don't want because they can be a little bit tricky to like place items on if you guys know any shortcuts for like changing the position of an item on a like open for business shelf please let me know like if you can put an item on there and then use a key to like move its position please let me know because i find it so difficult sometimes excuse me so difficult sometimes to place um place objects that i want on there but anyway so that back wall is you know obviously like the kids section kids toys and stuff um a couple of cribs some feeding some high chairs um and then also small appliances um you know things that i feel like are pretty common in a thrift store um and then over here we have like the small electronics section um I put a couple of uh, what do you call those things? How do radio radios sound systems? <laughs> um, and then over here I had like a little books section. Um, and obviously, like in a real thrift store, there's like much more variety um, of things. But I just put what I thought was the most important and like most essential. Um, and then you know i think it would be really cool if your sim bought this place as a business you know all the items are already on the shelves you just have to mark things for sale um hire your employees and all that but it just sitting alone as a regular community lot only the the clothing racks obviously you know your sims will only be able to buy from the clothing racks but um yeah, so those little those little like red boxes, the little open for business boxes I put next to the cash registers, I wanted that to kind of like, excuse me, <laughs> sorry y'all. I wanted that to kind of like, <clears throat> like mimic a like, you know, the, the little baggage area with where they, y'all know what I'm talking about, but <laughs> Um, if you were wondering what that was about, that was my intention for it. Uh, and here I am just recoloring stuff. Uh, I very purposely wanted to have very few big long rows of clothes. Um, that's what I usually see in thrift stores. And then, of course, we need a used furniture section. So, you know, everyone's always looking for a couch or a chair or a dining table at the thrift store. So I made sure to include that. And I just made it really random, y'all. Like, I really wasn't wasn't trying to do anything special. Um, one thing I didn't want to do was put anything that was too, too nice. So I kind of stayed with the, the lower cost items. Um, 
and then these paintings i wanted them to sit on the floor like that but it was like ever so slightly just hovering above the ground so i ended up putting them on shelves and you know used used cheats to make it look like they're leaning leaning on the shelves so um, i really like how this came out i feel like I feel like it's pretty realistic so i'm interested to know what you guys think if if your thrift store in your town looks anything like this or if you've been to a thrift store that looks like this please let me know um and then of course i just added a couple of like kids toys on the ground um and yeah so um, so the bathrooms are really plain the dressing rooms are really plain like I said before like these big warehouses they're usually there's usually not much personality going on with them so um, here I am just adding those little sim Greek letters and I imagine the back wall would say like oh children's items that wall would say small electronics or or electronics or radios or whatever that would say furniture and then this would say like bathrooms um i talk about this all the time where i i literally just i just put random letters and just pretend what it says <laughs> um my favorite part the lighting making sure everything is very well lit um even on the second floor, even though it's not gonna shine to the bottom floor, when we get into screenshots, you guys will see what a difference it makes to to put those lights up there. Like, especially the ones that I have, um, like these ones right here that I have in the middle of the floor uh, or middle of the ceiling, even though it's not illuminating anything, it really adds to the final look when you're like looking at the screenshots. And yeah. Said it a hundred times before and i will say it again um i hide lights under objects like when i i need things to be illuminated but i don't want lights hanging in midair i either do this what i'm doing right here with the floor tiles or i just hide those ankle lights under objects where you can't see them so it's a little tip a little hack for you guys um and then of course like that floor tile situation i did with the with the half fence and the um, and the lights, just so that they're not hanging midair, they're like attached to something. And then here we are getting into the cinematic shots. I hope you guys like how it looks. Um, I'm pretty happy with this. I think it looks really cute. I think there's just enough going on on the outside for it to still be somewhat appealing, not just like a totally blank gray box but um yeah let me know what you guys think
All right, so now that we're done with the thrift store, we are moving on to a lot I call the Pokey Cactus. Um, and what this basically is, is a club. It's like a nightclub slash bar slash bowling alley. Um, it's got a little bit of everything, but this is where your Sims come to have fun and just relax and enjoy their weekend or days off or whatever. Um, yeah, so. I really wanted it to have, I wanted the building to have a very classic like downtown kind of feel and so um, I, yeah, I, I think I accomplished that pretty decently. Um, I definitely wanted there to be a basement bowling alley. I just thought that was such a neat idea. Um, and actually funny story is when I was first building this, I was like, Pretty much completely done with build mode and then my game crashed and it literally like broke my soul to see that happen so um, as I'm building I'm like over here just saving a bunch because that set me back a, a couple of hours so um, and that's also another reason why you see me kind of moving so fast or moving faster than normal at least um, with building it because I already kind of knew what I wanted to do and yeah I think I think it looks that to be honest y'all this lot is like my pride and joy of the entire neighborhood I am so proud of this lot and it's definitely my favorite I can see I can see this being plopped in a lot of different different neighborhoods um, I added a little parking lot at the very back. Um, and I mean, the, the proportions of everything just kind of worked out perfectly because I wasn't planning on adding a parking lot, but when I saw how perfectly it fit, I was like, okay, that'll work. So, um, yeah.
so one thing i really hate about basements and dealing with basements and stuff is trying to paint the basement ceiling like i got really lucky being able to find an angle where i could as you can see i was like i was like doing everything i could to like try to paint the ceiling because it just the white ceiling was not going to do it um there is a camera mod that that would make it a lot easier but i think in my experience it was still pretty difficult using the camera mod but let me know what y'all's like hacks or tricks are for doing that because i'm really big on painting my ceilings and that if i wasn't able to find that perfect angle that where i could just barely get to the ceiling that would have drove me crazy um but yeah so uh i really wanted to um make the bathroom special for this lot because in all the other lots i did very basic bare minimum bathrooms because it's just it just doesn't really matter to me that much but in a lot like this where you know like if you've ever been to a club or a bar like sometimes they have really cool bathrooms and the bathroom is important like people are gonna be like in and out the bathroom constantly so i think it needs to be like an enjoyable like environment um so i did get a little fancy with the with the bathrooms uh and gave them like a little theme that right there was me trying to get to that bottom piece right there <laughs> trying to color the ceiling right there but i could not get to it and that really annoyed me so um but yeah so as you can see like the shell is pretty much done i um i definitely wanted the second floor up there to overlook the first floor and so you know it there's just like a, a like very what's the word like airy flow to the place like nothing is cramped nothing is like too cut off um pretty much just the basement is the basement is a little bit cramped but because of that i, I tried not to flood it with objects too much but um but yeah the basement's a little cramped but the other floors i really wanted it to be open and like airy so um and then the one piece of cc i used for this lot excuse me two pieces of cc were these um, bottle shelves they're sims 4 conversions um and like i always say check the description for any custom content i use or any mods or, or anything like that that i use i always have um, everything credited and linked below including like mods that I just use in my game um, but yeah I think it looks really really nice I love those big square bars where it's just like a bar completely around I think it looks really nice it's kind of like it's kind of like a like a centerpiece to the space so um, and then of course we have to have pool tables um yeah so the dj booth so there's like space for your sims to just dance and bowl and chill um i really love how this lot came out like i said it, it is my favorite lot of the entire um the entire neighborhood so far um, especially this basement area it's very like cozy and um, like welcoming to me so Ooh. Mm -hmm.
Okay, so you guys are gonna notice that I didn't really do a whole lot with the wall decorations and that was pretty much completely on purpose because um, I kind of figured like when your sims go here, it's gonna be really dark and like they'll barely be able to like really see anything on the walls anyway. So I was just like, I'm just gonna leave it alone. So um, I added a couple pictures where I saw fit, but for the most part, I just wanted it to um, mainly have the focus on the stage and the DJ booth and the lights. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, here I am just making the, the women's bathroom a little more interesting and just making it like kind of fun and cute. Um, giving it a little personality like I imagine like you know your sims they're gonna want to take selfies in there and stuff and speaking of selfies I just now I'm realizing like I really do wish that I added a um added a photo booth here but excuse me sorry y'all <laughs> I really do wish I added a photo booth here because how cute would that be for your sims to have like memories of their time like like going out with their friends or whatever but it's fine it's fine um here i am just adding very low lighting uh i didn't want anything to be too bright i omitted the like stage lights even though it would make sense and ended up just putting these little neon lights which i liked a lot because it adds like warmth and color but it's not like fluorescent white lights um, I added these little disco ball lights and I also made sure that they were like that kind of like warm tone and warm color. Um, the bathroom is a whole different situation. Like I just, I, you need the bathroom to be bright. So, um, I added that cute little neon heart sign that I really, really love. Uh, made sure there was lighting above the stalls, um very low lighting uh as i was saying but okay and now we've moved on to the final floor which also has its own bar um every single floor has its own bar i thought that would be more like convenient for your sims you know um and then i do end up making like little individual sections up here um, with like their own couches and tables and stuff so if your sims come in groups, they can kind of like stay in their little section. Um, I added those little black mini fridges to the bar because it only makes sense. Like you probably, you're going to need ice at a bar and like where else would they get the ice from? So <laughs> um, there's the sections I was talking about. And if any of this is not making sense to y'all, please you can go ahead and comment and ask questions and stuff because um i'm just so familiar with where i've lived and the places i've gone to and like what what it looks like and i know to some of y'all like you might not be like where you live things might be totally different like um whether that's like in a different state or like in a different country like things probably look a lot different for you guys so yeah, um, I made sure to add speakers everywhere because main part of a club is music, of course. So, yeah.
right so here i am putting the last finishing touches on everything um those two little chairs i put by the front door is basically where like the bouncers would sit like the security and like check ids and stuff um and i made sure everything was very well illuminated on the outside and i just love string lights y'all like string lights make everything better so i added some of those and we are going to get into the screenshots and cinematic clips and i will be back Alright, so we are on our third and final lot for this video called Rocky Coffee and it is a, a coffee shop and I wanted it to have kind of like an older like antique vibe but still like, you know, it's like still up to date and like people still go there so, um, so yeah, I named it Rocky Coffee because like I felt like it, it, it kind of went with the desert theme. Um, I feel like this build is very unique. It's it's nothing like anything I've ever built before and I I just I love it. Um I'm excited to know what you guys think or what y'all's favorite lot so far is. Um like I said there's going to be one more part um to the 24 out 24 hour challenge, but that doesn't mean we're going to stop building in Dusty Lakes. That's just um that's just going to be all the lots for the 24 hour challenge part but um so yeah i thought it'd be really cool to add this little greenhouse portion and just kind of make it look old but but like modern ish let me stop saying modern old but like create it has like unique touches if that makes sense you guys will see like as i go on to like decorate and stuff um so in this lot the 
the piece pieces of CC I used were from the antique bakery set um, from mod the sims and you'll be able to find the creator and everything in the description but um, they currently they don't have a terms of use policy so I'm assuming that I can include it with a lot um, uh, so I'm just gonna include it with the download and if that ever changes like y'all can let me know and I can update the download link and everything um, but yeah just make sure to check the description for any CC that I used um, and like I said before this whole whole like challenge this whole neighborhood is very very minimal CC I can count the I can literally count how much CC I used on one hand <laughs> So don't be, please don't be too alarmed when you hear that I use some CC because I really did try to keep it to a manageable amount. Um, it's mostly just like recolors and stuff, but um, yeah.
Okay, so here I am just um, obviously, you know, like decorating the kitchen and adding all the objects and stuff. Um, those menus that you see also come included with the antique bakery set. So it's all like one file and everything. But like I said, I'm going to include it with the download anyway. But just so you guys know, it's not like a million and one like different files it actually comes as a set which was quite convenient um especially with the painting recolors and stuff it all just goes really nicely together um and i just wanted to load up the whole kitchen area and make it look very like like you know like this is like a busy place and um and like they always have customers coming through and stuff so um i added those two little like coffee stands but i also wanted to add some regular coffee machines hot chocolate maker um an espresso machine well two espresso machines um or three i don't know <laughs> um just to add stuff and make it look very like used and like busy um added these little shelves that also come with the bakery set and yeah i i I think my my choice of color scheme was really strange at first but as I was adding stuff I was like okay no this is what I was trying to capture because I don't want to say I wanted a gas station vibe but like I wanted a just like a kind of old feel like I used that this wallpaper that to me looks really really old and even on the second floor I used the same wallpaper without the uh, without the molding at the bottom, the the kick molding I think is what it's called, uh, and even that wallpaper was like a slightly off shade from the one on the first floor, but I love that because I was like, okay, this makes it look old, cause you know like <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully you guys know what I mean. Um, and then I thought it would be a cute idea to use all kinds of different chairs and stuff. And and I thought that would give it a lot more personality. And I think it did. So something like a problem I encountered while building this lot was like, clearly I don't have much experience using greenhouses. And so I did not realize that using the, those greenhouse walls was going to interfere so much with the with the indoor lighting so basically when you make an enclosed room and it includes greenhouse walls even if there are some regular walls it's going to the game is basically going to treat it as if like you're outdoors so as you guys can tell like the lighting looks very weird and dull but i do end up finally fixing that because I end up enclosing the greenhouse section on its own and then like I had to like save and exit and re-enter the lot and like it fixed the lighting but I was so confused because I was like why is everything so dull and then when I was going through and adding lights uh I switched the nighttime toggle on and I was going through and trying to add lights and it just felt so dark and gloomy but anyways, if you're wondering why the lighting looks weird, then then that's why. But um, I just put up some random posters. I might have went a little overboard, but I don't know. I, I like it. I like the kind of, like I said, like antique kind of random feel that, that it gives off. So <laughs> um yeah, hopefully it's not too crowded with chairs and tables and your sims can still walk through here, but um, but yeah, that little couch area by the greenhouse, I can definitely see that being like a study area for your sims. Um, but yeah, I think, I think I end up not adding any rugs or maybe I do add rugs, but I don't know. Looking back on this, I keep telling myself like maybe you maybe you did a little bit too much. Maybe it's a little bit too crazy. But you guys, let me know what you think. Um, I added that jukebox. I think is what it's called. I thought that was really cute. I never used that item. So, um, but yeah.
all right so i really hope you guys enjoyed this part of the 24 hour build series um the next part part four we're going to cover the library and the park which are the last two lots in the 24 hour challenge and then after that we're going to tackle some residential builds and some build tutorials and it's going to be a lot of fun so Thank you guys for all the positive comments, all your suggestions and feedback. Um, I appreciate all the subs and the likes and it really just, it makes me really happy knowing that like people still love The Sims 2 just as much as I do. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please check out part one and two if you haven't, if you'd like to and stay tuned for part four and whatever else we do in dusty lakes so i will see you guys in the next video bye bye